Stan Jebelisco here, proprietor and operator of amateur radio station W1GV. Whiskey One Good Vibrations in single sideband mode. Or da 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 in CW mode. What I'm showing you here is a frequency domain display such as you might see on a spectrum analyzer of a single sideband receiver tuned to a certain frequency centered at what is shown as zero here. This is the single sideband energy, the voice audio, as produced by a transmitter with a balanced modulator that gets rid of one of the sidebands in this case it gets rid of the upper sideband or USB leaving only the lower sideband or LSB energy. The lower sideband energy beats with a carrier that the receiver introduces in place of the suppressed carrier put out by the transmitter. All the energy that the transmitter puts out is contained within this roughly 3 kilohertz wide band representing the audio frequency energy of the voice such as what I'm talking to you right now coming out of the single sideband transmitter. It's simply a bunch of little bits of energy at different frequencies that combine in various patterns that change with time and when you beat those frequencies or heterodyne them against a carrier reintroduced in the suppressed carrier place. Sort of like a beat frequency oscillator or BFO. In fact it is a beat frequency oscillator or BFO. They just don't call it that. When this audio energy heterodynes against this beat frequency oscillator frequency which is right exactly at the frequency where the receiver is tuned, you hear difference frequencies uh, between the audio energy and the BFO. And the result sounds just like a voice if you've got it tuned correctly. If you happen to be a little bit off, if you happen to tune this suppressed carrier uh, BFO replacement signal a little too high or low in frequency, you'll get monkey chatter like this. Or monkey chatter like this. Or if you're listening to the wrong sideband in your receiver, you'll get completely unintelligible monkey chatter. That's the jargon for the uh, way that audio sounds when you're not receiving it right in single sideband mode. But suppose that you want to listen to a CW signal with an SSB receiver. What do you do? You just tune the receiver so that its suppressed carrier replacement signal or BFO lies a certain number of hertz away from the frequency of the CW signal. In this case maybe 750 hertz. In that case you'll get a 750 hertz tone in the audio output of your receiver and that is how you can use an SSB receiver to receive CW signals. In fact, uh, today's CW receivers are nothing more than SSB receivers with sharpened audio, um, well not usually audio, but sharpened intermediate frequency filters that have a narrower bandwidth than would be necess necessary for SSB. In an SSB receiver the IF or intermediate frequency bandwidth is just about the same as that of the voice so that it lets all of the voice energy in and nothing else. And provided that that pass band is, coincides with the range of audio frequencies of the voice, uh, you get perfect reception. No interference that's not necessary, but if a CW signal happens to come on right here, 750 hertz below the BFO frequency in this case, you're going to hear that CW signal as a steady audio tone in addition to the voice. 
most receivers come with so-called notch filters that you can tune which will reject signals at a specific frequency and you simply tune that notch filter to the frequency of the CW signal and you can hear the voice more clearly. If you want to receive CW instead you switch to a narrower intermediate frequency passband and you have a CW receiver. A typical SSB intermediate frequency passband is about 2.7 to 3 kilohertz. In CW it can vary anywhere from 3 kilohertz all the way down to maybe only 100 hertz. Just enough, just a narrow enough slot to let that CW signal fall through and be heard clearly rejecting everything else. So that is why you can use a single sideband receiver to listen to CW. These days the two are exactly the same. The only difference is in the width of the intermediate frequency passband filter. Stangibalisco W1GV saying 73 and so long, which in my native language CW translates to Did da 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 da